In this video, I'll show you how to make or add a semi-transparent background to your alpha substation or ASS subtitles in Subtitle Edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David. If this is your first time watching my videos and you do get value from the content that you watch, kindly consider liking this video and sharing it with your friends so that we can all learn together. So welcome. And I already have my video file. This is the video file and an SRT subtitle file ready uh, for the process. Next up, you'll need subtitle edit and I'm using the latest version. Subtitle edit and I'll just open it up. Subtitle edit 3.6.2 to do this particular process. But I believe even earlier versions uh, can do this, but it's always best if you upgrade to the latest version and I'll leave a link in the description below. Subtitle edit is a Windows program and it is free. So let's begin by opening up our video. So I'll just click on video, open video file, and then I'll navigate to the folder with uh, the video that I want to use. I'll just click on it, click on open, and it's going to load. If it doesn't load the waveform, ensure you click on uh, some section here that says click to add waveform. And then once we do that, I'll go to file, open keep video, so I want to open a subtitle file, but keep this video file. So I'll just click on the subtitle file, the SRT subtitle file that uh, I have. Just click on open. Now, once we do that, uh, well, the subtitle is going to load. You can just check it out, how it looks like and all that. But we need to convert our SRT subtitle file to an ASS subtitle file. So I'll just click on format from this particular dropdown. Just click on it and then go to advanced substation alpha or dot ASS subtitles and I'll click on that. And once I click on that, you'll see a new uh, column here with a style and the style is default. It's what it is here. But now something that we can do is we can click on this particular advanced substation alpha styles. Once you click on it, you're going to come to this particular uh, window and this is the styles window. You can create your own styles. You can import styles from other people and you'll see a bunch of options. Uh, there's the styles in current file and you can add some more. Uh, and then you can see the different things here. And then we have the properties. So you can rename, change the font that you're using, font size, bold, italic, underline, strike out. But we want to create a semi-transparent background. So for you to have a background behind your subtitles, for example, in this case, these particular subtitles, you'll need to have uh, 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 the color that is in the outline or the shadow uh, set to whatever color you want your background to be. So if you want your subtitles to have a black outline, that is a black background, then you'll need to click on the opaque box and the box per line uses the outline color. And this is, I believe, a new option. If I click on the opaque box, then we're going to get a black background behind our subtitles. If I click on apply, then this is going to apply to our subtitles here. And you'll notice that uh, the subtitles just bumped up a little bit here, uh, which might be confusing to somebody. So I can just try and sort it out right now. I'll just click on OK here. And then we go to File, Advanced Substation Alpha Properties, and then just click on From Current Video. And then once I click OK, it's going to get a little bit smaller, uh, too much uh, for our liking, but uh, we can bump this to the font size of about 36. And if we click on apply and look at this particular subtitle, apply, then I believe uh, this looks better and uh, this actually looks better. So we have a black background, but we want a semi-transparent background. So what are we going to do? Uh, we're just going to come up to the outline and then we'll just uh, bring down uh, this particular alpha uh, channel to about 128. Once we uh, bring it to that, click OK, click Apply. Feels like nothing has happened. But now, the one thing that is interfering with this particular uh, process is the shadow. So uh, if I can just align this particular subtitle at the center, let's just bring it there. The shadow uh, actually influences uh, what you see. So for example, this is what is behind that particular black box. 
if I just crank it up slightly, let's go to something like 18, you'll see the shadow come down here. But when I bring it down to zero and then click on apply, our subtitle is going to have a transparency. So it's semi-transparent. We can see whatever is behind that. Uh, and I can just bring it back down, the alignment down and click on apply. So we can see what is in the background uh, when we scroll through our subtitles. So we have created a semi-transparent background and this conforms to uh, the lines, the different lines that we have. But the one downside I find with this particular process is that because this outline overlaps, if you have two lines, then you end up having a sort of solid line in between these two outlines or the backgrounds that you've created. I wish that the creators of subtitle edit can actually fix this. Uh, but alternatively, what you can do if you wanted to do uh, just have one box, even if you have uh, double or two line subtitles, then you can select this particular drop down here and then say one box and the one box option uses the shadow color. I wish we also had the option to have uh, rounded uh, rectangles and all that, but I hope that this program will keep getting better and better every day. So if you click on one box and then click on apply, there we go. We have uh, our subtitle taking up the shadow color, but uh, when we look at it, it's solid black color. So to change this, you will need to click on this particular uh, option here and then bring down the alpha transparency to about 127. Uh, that's the midpoint for the alpha transparency and then click OK and then click apply. And our subtitle has a semi transparent background. So if we just look at it here, we'll see this available for subtitle. Now, that is how you can make or add a semi-transparent background to your subtitles or alpha substation subtitles. Uh, and the, the reason why you want to do this is because you want to burn in the subtitles to your video and you want them to look more or less like what you see on YouTube. Also improve readability of your content. You don't want to obscure anything that is going to be relevant in the background uh, or anything of that sort. So if you, all you wanted was now to burn the subtitles with a semi-transparent background to your videos, all you need to do in the latest version of Subtitle Edit 3.6.2 is come to Video, Generate Video with Band in Subtitles. Just click on that. And if you've already used the beta versions, you'll notice that they now have the options to set uh, different parameters, the video dimensions, the audio settings, uh, if you want your video to match the original, all those options are available in the beta version. Uh, but I'll just click on generate. And then we'll just click on test. Test video. For semi transparent background. So we'll just click on save. And it's going to do its thing. Uh, in the beta version, we also have a progress bar uh, that indicates how much time is remaining uh, to burn in the subtitles to the video. So everything is going on in the background. Uh, if you think that this is not coming, it's coming in the uh, updated versions, but it's already done. So we can open the containing folder and we have this particular video. And if I just double click on it. With the recent update on the YouTube we now see our video with a semi-transparent background, which is awesome. And this is the one box where we chose the shadow, uh, not uh, the outline color that gives us uh, an outline for each and every single subtitle line that you're working with. So that's it from me. That's how you can actually make a semi-transparent background for your alpha substation subtitles, uh, advanced substation, alpha subtitles, the ASS subtitles uh, inside subtitle edit. I hope this video is going to be of value to somebody that's interested in doing that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.